Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to do a chit chat get ready with me which is going to be in the latter portion of the video because first of all I wanted to just kind of go over some Nordstrom sale must-haves. We're at the tail end of the sale. It ends on August 5th which is Sunday. There are things still in stock that I love but it, this, it's such a good sale. It really is and I have some few standout things I've purchased this year and last year. Just my favorites. I think they're kind of must-haves. So I was kind of going through and seeing what was still in stock and what wasn't. If you missed any of my Nordstrom hauls or my recommendations video I will put those in a card and link them below as well and you can see everything that I got I've tried everything on for you um, as well as the recommendations video I also tried things on there too so these things are all brand new and they will continue to be available but only through the fifth will you be able to get them on sale Elsa wants to share some of her must have She's been attacking some of these things while I'm getting ready here. And so welcome. If you are new, please subscribe. I would love to have you here and let's jump on in. So the first thing that I want to mention is these Nadri Inside Out hoops. I bought a pair of these at the sale last year and I wore them to death. I love them. I have them in gold. This year I picked them up in silver. They're so good. They're lightweight. They're affordable. They look high-end. They look expensive, but they're not. Mine from last year, I've worn them so many times, and they don't look tarnished or dull or anything like that. They look just as good as the first day that I got them. In fact, I, t I convinced my mom to order a pair, and she even texted me. and was like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I'm like, I told you, mom. They're amazing. So these are the silver ones. Let me zoom you in here a little bit so you can see. They have, okay, don't mind this chip. I painted my nails last night, but it fell off. Um, I've been doing a lot of cooking and cleaning this morning. So anyways, not that you care. <laughs> these are like diamond encrusted on the front and then on the inside of the back portion, which is why they're called inside out, they have diamond encrusted back here. Now these are not real diamonds, but aren't they so sparkly? They're very lightweight. They do not pull your ear down. They come in gold, gold, <laughs> gold, rose gold, and these silver ones. This year's new style are these. These are called the teardrop. These are the ones I picked up. These are gold. I bought them in gold because I have a lot of silver teardrop style earrings, but I love this style because this right here will take you from day to night in a heartbeat. These, I mean, these are day to night too, right? But I think these are just slightly more elegant, like a little bit more cocktail, but gosh, if you can get a cocktail earrings that are just as stunning, if not more stunning than the real thing for around $35, like seriously. And then I'm really pleasantly surprised with this. I picked up this also by Nadri to match my earrings because I love the simplicity of this. This is a hinge bangle, so it opens like this. This comes in gold and silver. I don't know if this comes in rose gold or not, but what I really like about it is it's easy to put on. I like bracelets, but I don't like bracelets that you have to like, that are the hook and eye, and if you're by yourself, you have to twink for an hour, and then you get sweaty armpits because you're trying to put on your bracelet and you get frustrated and you just kind of give up. But this one is easy to get on and off, and I just think it's so elegant and just, oh my gosh, once again, a fabulous price point for something that looks so high end. I'm a very practical minded person. I may seem sometimes like I'm a little over the top on things. Well, I can be over the top, but. For the most part, I'm very practical minded and when I see a sale, my mind goes to what do I need? What is something I run out of a lot that could definitely be replenished? And the two things that I think about is underwear and bras. Oh my goodness, can you see her? Do you see her? How cute she is. Can I have that? Oh, thank you. Okay, so these I love. I bought six pair. These are the Notori. Bliss Perfection Bikinis. These are also available in the thong style. I got both. Day to day, this is my world. The thong is a little bit more of, you know, like, depending on what you're wearing. But when I'm just ha hanging out at home all day long, this is, this is my jam. So comfortable. They're stretchy. They have a really pretty lace upper. And then this is all seamless. So you don't have to worry about these showing through because I, I do not like underwear that shows through either. There's, they, they come in like not as many colors as I'd like, but I, I picked up a few really pretty colors. I got like a hot pink, a baby pink, I like and there's a nice gray that almost looks like an army green. There's some blues. Notori also makes a cotton version of this, which I will also link below. Those are equally wonderful. Your girls need support. And sometimes we want support and something that just is really pretty and fun. And so I picked up three bras at this sale. And I will link all three because they're all different styles. But I specifically wanted to show you this one because this one I think is my favorite as far as style and color. 
And this one is called, I'll link it below, I can't remember, but it's by Notori. These are true to size. I like that they have, you know, the three options for your hook. So when you buy a bra, you want to start it on the furthest hook out. So as it stretches out, you eventually want to work your way in towards, you know, it being the tightest. But did you know that 90% of your sport, support in a bra comes from the band and 10% from the cups. So it's crucial that you get the right band size uh, for your body because otherwise you're not going to be fully supported. It's going to be riding up in the back, the straps are going to be cutting into your shoulder or they're going to be falling off. I've had that happen too. Um, but you want to make sure to get the right circumference this direction. But what I really love about this bra is it's an underwire. There's no padding in this. I mean there's nipple coverage um but there's no like thick padding or anything it's just a great everyday bra but look how pretty this is oh they have several also that were just kind of like marked down so not only do they have anniversary sales but within that they're marking stuff down too so i will link below a few styles that i think are gorgeous as well as the styles that i picked up if you can I did not believe, nor did I want to go into the hype of rails. I didn't understand it. I'm like, uh, why are these plaid flannels so much money? First of all, they're not made of the same material as your typical flannel. So think lighter weight, think much more buttery soft, a lot more flattering to the body. It's not a heavy, cumbersome material. It's not thick. It doesn't just like drag. It like drapes the body really nicely. So if you can, I highly recommend picking up a rails plaid. This is one of the colors available in this year's, the new, the new, the new colors, because, you know, they come out every season with different ones. But this is the one I picked up at the sale. I bought a small. I think small is my perfect fit. I bought an extra small in a different color that was marked down. I will also link below some of the marked down price matching that they're doing because there's, they're just slashy prices. I don't know. <laughs> so I absolutely get the hype now. Now that I purchased this, I love the color of this one. Quite honestly, it goes really well with jeans. Um, this matches the new pair of AG jeans that I just picked up. Perfectly. Perfectly. It's like the cutest outfit ever. Throw it on with a pair of booties and you're done. You don't even have to think. Throw on your hopes. Throw on one of these and you're done. Um, but what I like about it is that it's lightweight. This is not your... You know, it's not like a thick flannel material. Now this does say to hand wash, but you know what? Most of us have hand wash cycles on our washing machine. I don't wash anything by hand. Nothing. Even my bras, I throw them in like a little lingerie bag, put it on hand wash, and I air dry. So yes, I would say throw this in your washer on the hand wash and then just let it hang dry. You just don't want to, you know, dry it to death so it will shrink. Um, and you just want to be gentle with your clothes. But if you're going to put good money, invest good money into it, then you probably should invest just as much time into laundering it. Start the hype and get yourself one. I don't know. Now, this morning when I checked, this was still in stock, but this is the Barefoot Dreams. This is the color I picked up this year. You guys, it's worth it. Hands down. I haven't had one person come back and say, oh, I bought a Barefoot Dreams cardigan and I hated it. Not one person. <laughs> Everyone's like, okay, why didn't I do this sooner? So comfortable, buttery. It hugs you. It's not thick it's like a lightweight it's like a hug for your body when you're sick this is what you, this is what I wear every day that I bring my children to school I get up in the morning most of the time I'm still wearing pajamas but I put this on and it's just it's perfect for layering chilly mornings even in the even if I lived way up north again and it was super cold I would layer with this because it's not thick you can put a coat on over this if you needed to it's got cute pockets it's worth it it's worth it it's worth it get yourself one this is another thing I convinced my mom to buy, and she bought it, and she's like, oh, it's so good. I'm like, yes, mom, it's really good. This last thing I ordered in two different colors, and I returned the one I ordered in red because it wasn't as brilliant in person as it was on the website. It looked like a much brighter, like, cherry red, and it was a much more subdued, like, remember the Hanes, like, you know, sweatshirt and jogger pants you could get in the 80s? It was more that, like, soft, muted, almost like a bricky red, but I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute on. This is by Free People, and I bought a size small in this. You could size up in this. In fact, I... Pfft, if I were going to pick up another color, I might actually size up because it'll give me a little bit more length on my body. But this is like one of those super cute, okay, I have a tank top on, but um, I actually, I would wear this with a spaghetti strap tank under. You could do off the shoulder like this if you wanted, or you could just wear it like this and obviously not have all this underneath. 
is just slouchy it's cozy it's it's meant to be like a little bit shorter in the front so if you long torso maybe throw it on with like your zella which those are on sale too the high waist leggings and like this slouchy shirt oh but the color is what gets me on this this sky color is so pretty it's like the softest baby pastel color it's so flattering it almost like is youthful i think because of the tone in it but i love slouchy comfy sweatshirts like you just can't go wrong i don't think you can actually even have enough of those i live in sweatshirts and sweaters and t-shirts just basic stuff you know and you got your basic bases covered you throw on your jewelry and it makes you look fancy like you try but the secret is just get a really pair of good the secret is to just get a couple really fabulous pieces of jewelry, inexpensively, and it can dress up anything. So that's going to wrap it up for my Nordstrom must-haves. Let's jump right on into the Get Ready With Me. I'm going to start off by priming with the Smashbox Serene Greens Primer Water. Oh, I love this stuff. I love how it smells. It's very natural, like nature smelling, kind of like grass what did I, I described a wine the other day uh that it tasted kind of like grass and my husband's like well who's gonna want to drink that I'm like well you know it's a little just more earthy kind of sometimes my descriptions are not exactly spot on but in my mind it makes sense you know i haven't done one of these get ready with me's in a while and because i am now standing instead of sitting I'm going to have to hold a mirror in this. I hope I hope we can figure this out. Um, but I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Skin Foundation. Absolutely smitten with this. Love the fact that it's, what, $12 or $13 at the drugstore. So I had a run-in. <laughs> I was cleaning out this closet right here to make space to put more stuff in it. And one of the items that was, you know, haphazardly thrown in there from the last time I put it away fell onto my schnoz. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. So I have this giant like bruise slash bump right here. So that's what that is in case you're wondering. My beauty sponge is a hot mess. This is the Real Techniques one. It's just getting worse and worse and worse. I like the size of this and I like the price point. But by golly, she is looking rough. I still, my first love for a beauty sponge is the Beauty Blender. And they do have a set. Oh, maybe it's still in stock. Maybe it's not. But they did have a set on sale. I do not want to do a lot of heavy makeup today because we are just going to be going out for a bike ride. But I figured I would put on a little bit of something. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer. It's very emollient. It's a very nice hydrating under eye concealer. But if you have dry under eyes, maybe check this one out. Or if you just like something that's not super thick. It's not a dry formula. It's definitely more like a serum consistency. And it has a very luminous finish. Now, of course, if you set your concealer, that, that's going to go away. I'm setting that concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I find that this powder really locks and loads all of my foundation and concealer. In the winter time, if it's really cold or it's been bitterly windy or my skin's kind of dry, I do notice that this isn't the best powder for more super dry skin. However, if you really put powder where you need it versus where you don't, I mean, I think you can get away with it. I never cease to be amazed by how much filling in your brows just absolutely changes your face and brings everything together. For years, I would do my makeup and skip my brows, but look at the difference that it makes. And I feel like as I get older, my features are fading. Like the hairs are growing weird places. They're not coming back where they're supposed to be. My brows aren't as good as they once were. And it's just such a huge difference by just filling them in. You know, not even like crazy filling them in. Because I don't like a super sculpted brow look. I like them to look natural, but a little bit more like sisters instead of long lost distant relatives. And if you don't want those brows to travel anywhere, fade off, wipe off, swipe off. Uh, this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel is what I throw on mine every time I do my makeup. Even if I'm doing like a light look or I'm going to the pool... Well, let's be real, if I'm going to the pool, I ain't wearing makeup. But if you were going to go with friends or like a pool party and you kind of wanted to put a little bit, or look a little put together, put on your brows and throw on a little bit of brow gel. A little Milani eyeshadow primer here. I'm going to use the Tarte Tartlet palette today because, honestly, it has a huge mirror. And I'm standing and I can see my eyeshadow look sort of, kind of, because holding a mirror while applying your makeup is actually trickier than people make it look to be because if you don't have a really steady hand, which apparently I don't, <laughs> I'm like trying to do my shadow and things are like all 
I'm feeling dizzy. I'm gonna start with something, I don't know, something over in this area, probably like Free Spirit, and just set that eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss number 19, just kind of fluffier brush. I think I'm gonna go into the shade Natural Beauty here. It's like a taupey. These are all matte shades, but it's a good taupe shade. When I want more of a natural, no makeup look, the taupe shade really complements my eye color, so that's usually what I go for. It's got just enough, enough, enough depth to it to give some definition without being too dark. Are any of you guys watching Orange is the New Black? Because the newest season just came out and I haven't even finished the first episode. I like started and then I get interrupted and I pause and I just don't, I don't know. I kind of lost interest last season in it, but now that I'm this deep into it, I need to finish it. But do you ever start a show and you like, I don't know. I like to continue a show if I'm totally into it. But something about it, I've just totally lost interest. And then there's other things that, like Game of Thrones, I cannot wait for the final season to come out. My husband and I are also binge watching Parks and Rec right now, which he's already seen the whole thing, but I haven't. And so we're, we're almost done. And then I think, give me your recommendations, but I'm pretty sure the next thing we're going to watch is Glow on Netflix. We've heard good things about that. Well, hello, baby girl. I'm going to take this shade Caregiver, which is a matte pastel pink. And I'm just going to throw that on my lid. And then also a little bit of that on my inner corner. I'm going to dip into this Dreamer shade with a Lux Definer by Zoeva 227. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? So I'm going to take that same Dreamer shade on a pencil brush. This is one by Zoeva. This is called a Smoky Liner. Looks like that. And I was going to do a pencil eyeliner, but honestly I cannot figure out how to line my eyes and hold this mirror at the same time and have it look any good. So I'm just going to take this pencil brush and smoke out the shadow. You know what though? I like eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's like a good soft way to give definition. It's not as harsh. And I'm finding out too that as we age, I say we because we all are, less can be more. And I'm not loving some of the looks I used to wear or some of the lashes I used to wear on myself because they're aging. They make me look older in like not a good way. And when I was younger, they would just make you look older and that's fine or whatever. Uh, but now it's like... I have to be more soft about how I define my features because if I do it too harsh, it's like a negative way to aid you. I'm also going to take this Dreamer shade onto my lower lash line here with the same brush. And I don't, uh, I don't really want to bring it in too heavy. I'm going to take the Morphe E36 into this Force of Nature color and blend out underneath the lower lash line so it's a little softer of a look. Charlotte Tilbury Barbarella Brown Eyeliner. love this eyeliner because it's more of a cool toned taupey brown. It's not too warm. It's really good neutral to cool undertone so it works well for like a smokier look. I spoke about this product recently but the Pixie by Petra Black Lacquer Lash Primer I've been loving. I love the brush on it. It really grabs all of my tiny tiny little lashes and primes them without adding too much product. I've used several different lash primers, but what I didn't love about them is, yeah, they gave more volume and all that stuff and thickness, but they a lot of them would apply too much product. So then your lashes would be getting goopy because you'd essentially be doing this layer, and then you'd go in with your mascara one or two layers, and then my lashes just, I, I got like three lashes after the process. I don't know if it made them look better because I felt like they looked goopier. But what I like about this product is it doesn't apply too much. And then Chanel Mascara. This is a must-have mascara, in my opinion. It's so good. And it gets better and better the longer you have it opened. I've been reaching for this bronzer a ton this summer. It's the Hourglass Luminous Bronze. I like the tone of it on my skin a lot, and I like that it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not just a matte bronzer. 
I like matte bronzers, don't get me wrong. But I think in the summer to have a bronzer that not only gives you a bronze but a little bit of a glow is a good thing. Oh, oh, girlfriend, what is you doing? I just got this wild thought that... So I have dinner in the crock pot. I'm making a chicken tortilla soup. And I love it because you throw it all in the crock pot and it cooks itself. And when the chicken's done, I'll just shred it. But I just had this wild idea that maybe after a bike ride we should skip dinner. <laughs> Or wait, maybe you can go to Dairy Queen for dinner and get like burgers and fries and ice cream. What are you chewing on? Alright, I'm going to throw some of this mascara on my lower lashes here. What are you doing? You are a troublemaker. She's opening all of my drawers. I kid you not, I come in here every morning to clean up after her. This is my guest room, but now I'm filming in here, obviously. And I come in here and all of my drawers in my dresser are open because she opens them, like legit opens them. And this is where I keep all of my sweaters. And I always fear that her nails are going to snag all of my really lovely sweaters that I don't hang on purpose, girlfriend. Blush, I'm going to be using a standby favorite. Is that the word? Uh, probably not. This is Rose Bronze from Chanel. Love this one in the summertime. I love it year-round, but I like it in the summer because it's like a rosy shade, but with a hint of bronze, so it adds just a little bit of color, but definitely like some warmth. I was just grabbing stuff from my other room and throw it in my basket to bring in here, but the Laura Mercier Peach Mosaic, now I'm going to have to keep my brush over in these two colors because I kind of have a, a peachy, well, kind of like a pinky bronze look going on here, and I don't want to darken up my cheekbone too much, so I'm just going to take a Real Technique setting brush here. And highlight the tops of my cheekbones. I have a little bit of texture going on right now because I had a reaction to something and for some reason my face is also <sighs> really broken out right now. So I don't like to do a super glittery, spotlighty type highlight when we have texture on my face. I do like to do the Cupid's bow. I'm going to keep it real simple today. We're just going to do a gloss. This is Sugar by Bare Minerals. These Gen Nude glosses are fantastic. And in the Nordstrom sale, they had a lipstick and two full size, all full size actually, two glosses and a lipstick and a kit for a really good price. So if you've never tried these, or if you like the colors in the sale, I would recommend picking that kit up because these glosses are phenomenal. Glossy. Not sticky, very buttery-ish, buttery-ish. Just, just good, just a really good basic gloss. Have that chemical taste. This color is actually a nice kind of nude, but a little bit of pinky mauve to it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe. I would love to have you here. Elsa would love to have you here. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fabulous, wonderful day, and we will chat again very soon. Bye, guys.